Hello, good morning, grade 8 students. Uh, this is Mr. Gamal again with you, uh, vocab lesson. This is unit uh, 9, vocabulary in the workbook, page 56 and 57. Last time, we read the passage or parts of the passage and tried to guess uh, some uh, vocab meaning in, from the passage through the context or through the syllables, prefix and suffix, and so. Uh, now we'll continue our work. Uh, last time we finished the, ten, the first 10 words uh, definitions, and now this is the other 10 word definitions, from 11 to 20. Uh, now our work will be like this. You will uh, listen to the pronunciation of the word, repeat it after me. Uh, We'll take one of the, the meanings that are accessible to you, easy to understand and study. Uh, read a sentence, synonym and antonym, which is uh, easier and better for you to understand and study. All right, let's start. Uh, number 11, heterogeneous or heterogeneous. Heterogeneous or heterogeneous, both correct. Uh, heterogeneous, heterogeneous. Uh, this is composed of different kinds or diverse, very different. When something is heterogeneous or heterogeneous, this is of various kinds, different, of many types. Uh, the sentence, most college admissions officers actively seek a student body that is both talented and heterogeneous. All right, synonym, miscellaneous, mixed, and then uniform of one type or uh, of a piece, of one piece. Number 12, hoard, hoard. Uh, a vast number uh, of people or things, this is hoard, all right? A sentence, when the doors opened, a hoard of shoppers headed toward the sales racks. Synonym, crowd multitude or host uh, and then few or handful impel 13 impel when you impel someone you force someone to do something all right the sentence hunger often impel people to leave their homes in search of food synonym urge or push Antonym, discourage, or uh, curb, like stop. All right, this is page 56. 56. Let's come to 57. Number 14. Incredulous, incredulous, incredulous. All right. Uh, see the, the the prefix and the base word. Crit. All right. The base word is crit. All right. Credulous. When you crit, it is um, it is like credit. Remember credit. When you credit someone, you uh, you trust him. All right, incredulous, so this is opposite to trusting. So incredulous can be what? Disbelieving or skeptical or doubtful or not trusting, all this all right. Incredulous. The sentence, when the testimony of a witness contradicts the evidence, you can expect incredulous stares from the jury. Incredulous stares from the jury, disbelieving. All right, a synonym, mistrustful or doubting, antonym, believing or trustful. Number 15, inscribe, 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 uh, to write or engrave. All right, when you inscribe something, you write it or engrave on a stone or wood. Sentence, dying man asked the jailer 
to inscribe the locket with his fiance, his name. All right, so now, uh, enlist or enroll. Uh, and then erase or delete. Uh, number 16, monologue. Monologue. All right. Uh, this is a speech by one actor. Remember when I told you monologue like uh, when someone is talking uh, alone, all right? This is monologue. Uh, this is a prefix, mono, means one, one alone, mono. So, a monologue, this is one actor giving a speech by one actor, all right? By means of a monologue, a playwright shares the character's private thoughts with the audience. The synonym is like soliloquy. Remember the soliloquy of, uh, uh, of Macbeth or uh, Prospero, Prospero in, uh, in the collection, last quarter, when he is giving a soliloquy, talking to himself alone, this is like it, monologue or soliloquy. And then, conversation, when you talk to someone, this is conversation, this is normal dialogue. All right, number 17, prognosis, prognosis. Prognosis. Uh, prognosis, this is a forecast. You know forecast? When you predict what will happen, this is prognosis. But this is related to diseases and doctors. When a doctor gives a prognosis, so we predict the result of something or the end of a disease or so. So it is a forceful uh, or outcome of a disease. Outcome of a disease. All right. Example, doctors are particularly happy to deliver a prognosis of a speedy recovery. A prognosis, a prediction of a speedy recovery. All right. Uh, number 18, rasping. Rasping. This is with harsh sound, or it is harsh sound already. Yeah. Adjective with a harsh sound. Noun, a harsh sound. Okay, so it can be adjective and noun. A sentence, chronic bronchitis can lead to a rasping cough that is difficult to cure. Difficult, uh, sorry, a rasping like harsh. Harsh cough or rasping cough. Uh, number, uh, the second sentence, the rasping of metal scraping against metal sets my teeth on edge. The rasping of metal scraping. Uh, this is sound of metal, or that harsh sound. Serum, this is scraping. Uh, Antonym, smooth, or silky, or silky. Number 19, repugnant. Pugnant, repugnant. When something is repugnant, all right, this is offensive, or disagreeable, or distasteful, terrible, very bad. Sentence, despite the repugnant lack of cleanliness, pigs are endearing to my people, to many people. Uh, yes, pigs are known to be repugnant, especially of, um, in terms of the smell and uh, dirty. But people, some people or many people in the West particularly, like to eat them and deal with them. All right, this is the meaning. Uh, Senem, hateful or repulsive, and then pleasing, attractive, tempting. Okay, number 20, scuttle, scuttle. A scuttle can be verb, can be a noun. When is a verb? To sink a ship by cutting holes in it. Uh, when someone scuttle a ship or boat, it make holes so as it will sink. All right, this is scuttle. Uh, noun, a pail, like a container, like a container to put something in. Uh, a sentence, pirates would not wish to scuttle a captured gallon before loading its cargo. 
uh, another sentence. Years ago, it was possible to buy a scuttle of coal, a container of coal, at the corner grocery store. All right, synonym to abandon or ditch to put it down. All right, to let it fall down, make it fall down. Ditch. Anthem keep afloat or rescue. All right, this is our work for today. This is the end. Uh, now your homework will be to study these and uh, these ten words, last ten words from 11 to 20, to study and uh, memorize the meaning. Not necessarily by letter, but at least you understand the meaning. All right. Uh, then uh, you can you can uh, help yourself memorize or study the meaning of vocabulary. Not all the vocab together, not the 10 words together, no. Divide them into parts, little parts. For example, five words first, and after you finish this five, come to the other five, and then divide the 10 together. Or divide them into threes, three words, and then other three, and then the four, the last four. And after you finish this 10, study the whole 20 words together. Because next time, inshallah, we'll have exercise uh, on the vocab uh, meaning and use in uh, sentence and so this will be our work next time exercise in the booklet and online inshallah all right thank you see you later goodbye